In this e-poster, we present a whole brain map and the associated assay parameter analysis for mouse brain VTA dopaminergic activation. The reason why the dopamine system is a particularly interesting target for modern neuroscience is that it is key to the etiology of very many phenomena of interest, which we currently do not have enough control over, but very many people, both patients and people who are in the healthy spectrum, are interested in controlling. These include addiction, attentional control, motivation, but also many others. The dopaminergic system is particularly well suited for translational research because it is evolutionarily well conserved. Additionally, it is interesting from a systems neuroscience point of view simply because it consists of a small number of functionally similar co-localized and widely projecting cells. In these figures, you can see a map of the many regions which the VTA, which is one of the two lateralized structures in which dopaminergic cell bodies sit, projects to. And in the right-hand figure, you can see a graph representation of the brain, which shows how the dopaminergic system could be modeled in a very simple one-step relay graph representation of uh, the neural network. This might add, for instance, in getting better estimates and control over individual projections and disambiguating excitability at the soma from transmission at the synapse. The objectives of our study are to establish a reusable assay and a workflow implementation for VTA dopaminergic functional imaging in mice. This consists of an evidence-based set of recommendations and of course the presentation of the evidence which leads to these recommendations. Based on that, we would like to publish a reference neurophenotype of VTA dopaminergic neurotransmission. A functional neurophenotype in this context represents a phenotypical expression not at the behavioral level, however at the neural activity level. This is much more relevant for study in neuroscience simply because it can much more easily become operationalized. In the figure you can see a representation of how such a neurophenotype is used in the serotonergic system in previous work done by our lab at presented at ISMRM. The methods for this study consist in the application of optogenetics via triple selection based on um, cell expression and on the injection of a vector and on the stimulation by a laser in conjunction of course with whole brain imaging which is best provided by fMRI. The first part of our results is looking at the parameters of the assay in which we observe that block stimulation elicits much better activation of the VTA as opposed to phasic stimulation. Both of these are relevant for dopaminergic function, yet there are many reasons including sensitivity in fMRI which make it so that block stimulation is the preferable approach. We have also determined the best group of coordinates via k-means clustering of the quantitative um, targets for the implantation and we have determined that the best implant sites are the ones highlighted with a dot in the figure on the right hand side. What we observe in the functional maps is that we get strong activation in the midbrain and of course strong activation in canonical projection areas uh, of which the midbrain activation is actually quite widespread. Analyzing the network model which we presented initially, we here show the seed-based functional connectivity analysis which shows to be superior in disambiguating VTA function from other midbrain function, but also images a lot of the projection areas. This might indicate that the VTA has a rather unique signature of response to the optogenetic stimulus. Comparing the functional activation map with what we know about structural projections, we notice a broad overlap. In this figure, we present the t-statistic contrast between functional activation and non-structural projections as sourced from the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas. And we show that the only big differences we see are in the more widespread activation in the midbrain and also some projections to the dorsomedial striatum. So what we have done as part of this work is we have established a proof of principle for VTA dopaminergic optofMRI in mice. We have determined the optimal sensitivity parameters for the assay regarding both the stimulation protocol and the implant coordinates. We have then produced a reference neurophenotype in a standard space and we have documented the overall coherence with yet a few key deviations from the structural projection map. Lastly, we have implemented a seed-based functional connectivity workflow. We have shown that that facilitates accurate disambiguation of VTA activity, but it does suffer from SNR loss in projection areas, indicating that this might be a good candidate for further refinement. The functional neuroendophenotype for the dopaminergic system is published as nifty data alongside with many more detailed figures on the essay and the source code needed to reproduce them from scratch via the link on the title page of this presentation. Go check it out. Thank you.